Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. I wanted to take a moment to go over how to add polynomials. Um, if you're not familiar with the term, don't worry about it. We're going to go over it in class tomorrow. But this is just a preview so you know what to do once we start class. So if you notice, we have an expression that starts with 2x squared minus 4x plus 8. And we're going to add it to the expression 6x plus 5x squared minus 4. If you notice, the terms are not always in the same order. They're, they don't have to be. But in this case, it's not. So you have a choice. You could rearrange it using the commutative property. Rearranging it so 5x squared comes first, then 6x, then minus 4. Personally, it is not necessary. But for the students who need to do it, um, we can do that. So... But for this lesson, that's not what I'm, that's not my objective right now. So my objective is to show you how to line it up. We're going to do it vertically. So the first thing I'm going to do, I notice that I'm going to start with this expression. Because if you notice, x squared is first. And I want to go with the expression that has the highest degree. And I told you guys that degree refers to the exponent. And since x squared is the first one that is shown and it's in the highest degree, I'm going to leave that one first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take 5x squared, and I'm, there's a put, um, addition sign here. So I'm going to add it here. I'm going to put 5x squared here. I know I'm going to plus it. Um, I used that one already, so I'm going to cross that one out. Then I'm going to go to the 6x. There's a plus on the outside, and there's no there's no sign inside. So I'm going to make the assumption that it's going to be plus. So I'm going to put plus 6x. Then I'm crossing that out because I already used it. And then I have minus 4, negative 4. So I'm going to put minus 4 with a constant, okay? So if you notice, everything is all lined up. And now we can go ahead and add, right? So let's start with our constant. We have 8 minus 4, which is going to be 4. Or I could say 8 plus a negative 4, which is going to give me a positive 4. I have a negative 4 plus a positive 6x. So you know my answer is going to be plus 2x. I'm sorry, there should be a plus right here in between the term. The next that I'm going to do, I have 2x squared plus 5x squared, which is going to give me 7x squared. Therefore, this, this doesn't look like a 7, does it? Let me make sure it looks like a 7. <laughs> All right. So my answer, my solution is 7x squared plus 2x plus 4. And this is the result from adding polynomials. All right. Thank you so much. I'll see you in class in a minute.